Ed, it was a pretty upbeat speech from the governor considering everything that's gone on in the past 12 months, but he really was stressing that Australia's economic recovery will depend on the vaccine and its successful rollout. Yes, look, it was a classic speech from the Governor, Philip Lowe. Pretty upbeat about the economy, bouncing back much quicker than they had anticipated. But in his comments, he was measured about the risks looking ahead, such as the rollout of the vaccine. But the Governor rattled off some pretty impressive statistics there in the speech. Last year, the Reserve Bank were expecting unemployment to reach 8% by the end of 2020. It actually finished the year at 6.6%, and they believe it's going to fall to 6% by the end of 2021. Also, interest rates guaranteed to remain on hold until 2024. Obviously, great news for anyone with a mortgage. They can obviously repay their loans at a much cheaper rate than they would have previously. That's the cash rate at 0.1%. And a big reassurance here from the governor saying they're going to buy an additional $100 billion in government bonds on top of the $100 billion they've already bought. And the idea of that is to keep downward pressure on the Australian dollar, which really helps our exporters. And economic growth growth of 3.5% to GDP this year and 3.5% next year. So there was a lot of positives to come out of that speech, but he did highlight some of the risks. One of them was low population growth. The Reserve Bank was expecting population growth of 1.6% this year. In reality, he believes it will be 0.2%, which is the lowest rate of population growth since World War I. Low population growth means there are less people contributing to the economy, and that is a risk. The other factor, of course, is the rollout of the vaccines. If the vaccines are a success, the Reserve Bank is hoping that travel, international travel, can resume at some point next year. And that's obviously a great news for our economy and the tourism sector. But if the vaccine rollout's not successful, then it could obviously contribute to more of an economic downturn. But overall, it was a pretty positive speech from the governor and he really did set out his agenda for the entire year. And that really is the Reserve Bank's here. It's watching the economy closely and it's ready to jump in and act if necessary, to help give it a boost along. And just highlighting the steadiness of this speech, the stock market was up 1.1% when the governor started speaking and it stayed at 1.1% for the, for the duration of the speech. So pretty good positive market reaction as well, Ash. Ed Boyd, thank you for that. And yes, an interesting point on international travel. We've heard it from Brennan Murphy, heard it now from the governor there, that anyone planning to jump on an international flight this year needs to reassess. It doesn't look like those flights will be happening until next year at the earliest. Ed, thank you for that.